So just recently I stopped at, um, Electric Underground, a video game store in Waterloo. Uh, since quite a few more things had, well I don't think they actually closed, I'm not sure. But, I hadn't been there in a while and stopped there and I got a bunch more Game Boy Advance games that they had on sale. Most of them costed about four or five dollars a piece. So I thought I would show them off, the ones that I got. The first one here is Alienator's Evolution Continues. And I tried a little bit of all of them so far, since some I'd never tried, so I didn't know what they were like. This one's pretty much a scrolling, well not scrolling, but a a platformer, platforming shooter, and it's pretty fun what I've played of it so far. Next one is Duel Masters Kaijudo Showdown. This is a card game, and I have the other one, uh, Senpai Legends. Actually, I have two of them now. I couldn't remember if I had the other one, but I was going to give it to my brother-in-law. And then this one I was kind of interested to find, it's Hey Arnold the Movie. And it's a platformer game. It's pretty fun too. I was just kind of surprised to find a lot of these really. And this one here is Dexter's Laboratory Disaster Strikes. And this one's kind of a, a top down and you run around as Dexter trying to capture all these tiny deities and you do puzzles to uh, get farther in the the areas so you can catch more of her and this one is Zatch Bell Electric Arena and it's a uh, a fighter of sorts even though it's a story game but pretty much you just fight like you would in a a fighting game and this one is Beyblade V-Force. And this one is essentially... Um, I don't know how to describe the the gameplay. Pretty much you battle with, like, top spinning tops. But there's also an anime of this, too. Just in case nobody... Well, it wasn't recognizable to anybody. Now this one... I remember having way back when, but I never could get the hang of it, but this is Dragon Ball Z collectible card game, but I got it again so I could practice trying to get better at it. And I think I did better with what I played, but I still didn't really win a match. Now this one is Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. This one, what I played of it, it's all right but it's a little clunky and the stages are really long there's kind of bad hit detection seems like people hit you more than you're able to hit them it's a little of a mess now this one here is really fun it's avatar the last airbender from the nickelodeon cartoon and pretty much it's an rpg you're it's slightly top down and you just run around fighting enemies and pretty much doing the first however many chapters of the start of the series. And there's this one. It's Operation Armored Liberty. Now this one was one I had no idea really what it was at first till I tried it out. And it's pretty much a tank simulator. You drive a tank around and blast stuff. Even though when I was playing it, I couldn't find any enemies. There was just stre long stretches of land and landmines. And the last one here is Puffy Amiyumi Kaznapped. Now this was a Cartoon 2 on Cartoon Network for a while. Uh, voiced by the band that did the theme song for the original Teen Titans that then they got their own cartoon 
that had some of their music as well. And this is pretty much a platforming game too, and it's really fun. A lot of these were actually really fun. Star Wars one, meh, a little, a little hard to navigate. Dexter's Laboratory was a fun puzzle one. The Evolution one was all right. Most of them are really good. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show my newer, my yet more Game Boy Advance games. I'll see you guys next time.